way and take a look over here. The barricade has been set up. They just moved it back. And some of the security officials' vehicles, they started flashing their lights. So we know it's just a few minutes until that convoy arrives with Dr. Sager bringing him to the biocontainment center. We do have video of the inside of that. The space is biologically sealed off with air pressure. There's decontamination areas. And right here at the scene, we are hearing sirens starting to go off now. We're going to try to give you a look down the street. Uh, like I said, we know the convoy got off the interstate just a few minutes ago, and they're going to be coming from the south. They're not going to block the street off at all, so we're just waiting to see the emergency vehicles come up the street. Again, we can see a police motorcycle down there at the stoplight. Sirens are going off. We can see a few motorcycles coming up the street now. This is the convoy bringing Dr. Sagra, the American Ebola patient here from Offutt Air Force Base. The flight landed at Offutt earlier this morning, and we know that they asked the Omaha Fire Department to assist with the transport here to the Nebraska Medical Center. So uh, we're still waiting to see some vehicles come around the corner, but they've started to block off the intersection here at 42nd and Emily. <coughs> still hear sirens sounding here at the scene. Looks like they're blocking off the intersection down there, a block away from us as well. Again, they'll be bringing him here shortly. The biocontainment center is on the seventh floor of the tower here at Nebraska Medical Center. That's where they'll be treating him. The treatment other patients were given down in Atlanta is not available, so doctors here are looking for experimental options. We can see more motorcycles approaching now. Again, these are just arriving from off at Air Force, Air, off at Air Force Base, excuse me. We can see a line of vehicles coming down the street now, escorted by motorcycles. Looks like police are blocking off a few intersections here near the Nebraska Medical Center. I can see the ambulance approaching now, as well as some fire vehicles. And the police department assisting as well. There are some state trooper vehicles here also helping out. Again, the doctors have told us that with all the coordination between the local and federal government, the risk to anyone is very minimal. Ebola is not an airborne disease. They are taking all sorts of precautions to make this as safe as possible. And this biocontainment center is one of the most secure in the country. It's the largest of the four centers like it. You can see the ambulance just drove up the ramp there around the corner. They'll be taking Dr. Saber inside to the Nebraska Medical Center now. Again, up to that biocontainment center on the seventh floor. If you're headed to work right now, you'll want to try to avoid this area near the med center. Lots of traffic uh, backed up and being blocked off right now. And there you go, they're closing the ramp now. So uh, it looks like Dr. Saber has just arrived at the Rapid Medical Center. They'll be taking them upstairs to that secure biocontainment facility. Again, they just found out a couple days ago that that patient would be coming here. So doctors, along with a team of 35 experts who volunteered to be on this team, will be treating the doctor today. And we're going to continue to bring you live updates here at KETV. I'm not sure if we're going to stay here, if we're going to send it back to the studio right now, but we are going to continue to bring you updates on KETV. All right, and that was Amanda Crawford reporting live there, and you, you see the, the photo there on the right side of your screen, of course, Dr. Sacred now at the Nebraska Medical Center. Uh, if you do have any questions about all of this, maybe you've got some questions about Ebola, about the virus itself, maybe about how he's going to be treated. Now, the Douglas County Health Department has set up a hotline to answer all of your questions. It's going to be open this morning. At 9 a.m., you can start calling at 9 a.m. That number on your screen, 402-444-3400. Well, Ebola 